What's up, guys? My name is Mitch Dyer. I'm sitting here, standing here, with Ryan McCaffrey. Hello. I'm mean, saying, saying, sitting. Ryan, the Summer of Arcade 2013. It's happening this summer. No Pretty one, soon. no one is talking about it because everybody's so focused on the next gen Xbox. But yeah. Summer of Arcade is like the best part of summer gaming because there's always really, really good downloadable stuff every year. Yeah, it's XBLA's best stuff. Always, always comes in summer, and we're getting to that point now where we're gonna start hearing about it. So I wanted to get uh, from you, and then maybe we'll wrap a little bit together about our predictions for what we expect will be in this year's Summer Arcade. So there's always one Kinect game every year. That's, yes. that's Microsoft's new thing. we got to get a little Kinect action in there. Last year it was Reketeer. This year, remember that game announced at TGS like three years ago? Yeah, Crimson Dragon? Yeah. The spiritual yes. successor to, to Panzer, Panzer Dragoon. Dragoon. Same uh, creator, right? Yeah, and what's weird is a playable demo of this actually came out on the Japanese Xbox Marketplace. So there are people that have played this game. Yeah. Those people are not us. We could probably migrate my account for, you know, I already did we the, should, the actually, account yeah. migration from Canada to the States. Let's just make it Japanese. We'll go play Crimson Dragon, maybe. <laughs> but I suspect that's, they've got to be holding it for some yeah. of our game. I mean, it's, it's been on the, the back burner for so long. It makes a lot of sense to finally get that out yeah. there. What else, uh, Mitch? As soon as possible. So Ascend, Hand of Cool, the new game for Ascend uh, New Gods. Cool C-O-O-L? <laughs> like Cool Hand cool, Luke? dude. No, cool, cool K-U-L. Maybe it's Cole, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out when we play it, because yeah. it's, it's tying into the story. Another game we saw, and that's for E3 last year. Yeah, and we saw a little bit recently. Uh, we had a uh, few to go check out uh, some hands-on time, checked it out a little bit. It's, it's a cool-looking free-to-play multiplayer thing that I'm still not really sure what it is. Yeah. It's a very confusing thing. It's really ambitious. The tech from, was super impressive at yes. E3 last year. Uh, and it's from Signal Studios, the developer behind Toy Soldiers. So they, they have rep. They're really good. They do great games. So whatever they do, like I'm going to be there. Yeah. Uh, next one, I'm... I'm I would bet money that this is going to happen because it's just the game looks so promising. Mitch and I were literally, this this one took us back when we saw it like, whoa, this is Fable meets Journey, and that game is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Yeah, so that's Starbreeze Studios' next game. Starbreeze uh, recently did Syndicate, before that they did Riddick, so this is like a weird turn for them. They have a, a film director named Joseph, Joseph Fares. Yes. He's, doing the, uh, he's the game director. He's taking this like totally weird new vision for them where it's a single player game that you play cooperatively where you play as two Yeah, each, two each the, of the brothers you control on one stick and you use them to, to interact with puzzles and story characters. It looks fantastic. Yeah, it's a really charming game. Lots of whimsy and stuff to it, despite the fact that it's kind of dark. Look forward to that one. Uh, another game I'm really looking forward to, Super Time Force. Another one that was announced a long time ago yes. and has been really flying under the radar ever since. Yeah, and as far as I understand it, it is an exclusive to XBLA. So yeah, I Microsoft, believe Microsoft's publishing that yeah, game. Yeah, and that's, that tends to be the thing, right? Like with Summer of Arcade, it's exclusive stuff that you will never play on a PlayStation, that you'll rarely play on a PC. Uh, you know, maybe Alan Wake is an exception. Yeah. Something like that. It's, it's 2D side-scrolling, time-based, platformer, but, shooty, awesome thing. But every time you die, your ghost yes. keeps playing. So like, you, re that's the you hook. rewind time and your ghost keeps existing as you replay. So you're just replaying chunks of games as different characters. Which is like... <laughs> yeah, so you have all of these characters on the screen at the same time doing a bunch of cool stuff. And then the other one, which again, we've been really amped for every time we see it at IGN, which is uh, PAX was the, the most recent time. Yes. Uh, we're going to have some more on this game in the nearest future on IGN. And that is the extremely ambitious zombie uh, open world adventure game yeah. State of Decay. Yeah, match. that's from Undead Labs. It's kind of the precursor to what I think is their MMO project. That's their hope if this goes yeah. well. But it's it's not just your typical hack and slash zombie game. It's actually a survival game yeah. where uh, you, ha you have to, elements yeah, you have to recruit survivors, fellow uh, humans in the world, convince them to come with you, uh, you know, b build them a shelter, and and actually and you can do this anywhere in the world. Like if you just find a good spot yeah. to hole up that you think will be safe from the zombies, you can build a shelter there. And you, can, I mean, there's there are vehicles you can get out and drive and go wherever. You can run zombies over in cars. But it's just it's a it's it's almost the zombie game that I've always wanted, really. If it pans out, to, if it meets the level of ambition that that it's got. Fingers crossed. So those are our predictions. We want to know what you think. What do you expect is going to be in this year's Summer of Arcade? Let us know in the comments below. And for all things Xbox Live Arcade, Ryan, where do the people go? They're already in the right place. IGN.